Hey guys, Bullet Bri here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all the stuff that I got from Briarfest. And just before it starts, I will say that I'm sorry that I didn't post any vlogs or anything at Briarfest, but I think that with how busy it is and everything, and like, uh, it's just easier not to film there. And then, um, I just will show what I got, what I did, or whatever, um, and with all those horses I was going to show, I wasn't able to show them, because we didn't realize we missed the closing date for signing up, so, well, but it was a good eye-opener to see, like, the diorama contests and everything, so we know what to do for next year, so, anyway... On to what I got. So just to start off, um, this is the one like non model I got. Um, it's just the Rambo. It's a Rambo blanket, and yeah, that's it. So yeah, on to the horses. So first, here are the stable mates that I was able to customize and get from single day tickets. Um, so there's this one, which you'll probably be wondering about, but, um, this guy, I, like, so on the first day that I went to paint a stable mate, I painted this guy to look like my horse Bullet, and then on the second day that we went to paint stable mates, I got the same mold and I had no idea what to do, so I just painted it to look like one of the special run horses, but I didn't really put any attention into it, so it was just like, so I'll probably repaint him, but I have no idea what to paint him like, but he's meant to look like Newmarket, which is the decorator special run that you could get, so I'll insert a picture now. So, yeah. Comment ideas for what I could prob possibly, like, paint him over. I don't know. But then there's this, um, this dark bay with a star and a snip to look like my dark bay bullet. Um, then we have two dapple grays, and I was real and, like, I was really hoping for this stable mate mold to do a dapple gray on, but then I got this one, so I tried to do a dapple gray, but it wasn't very good because I didn't have any, like, photo to go off of, um, like, because I didn't really want to do, like, one like that, but, yeah, I did that, so I might repaint him, I have no idea, um, but then, like, my brother went and got a little painting kit for me to do, but it was the same. And then this other person kept getting these models and they wanted something different. So we did a swap and I got this and I painted it um, when we came back. So I didn't paint it at Briarfest, but it's not very good. This is his better side, but he's not very good in general, so yeah. And then there's these two, which is Ruffian and Silver Charm, which are single day ticket holder, like, prizes or whatever. Not prizes, like, celebration horses. And there were, like, I'm pretty sure four to choose from. Um, and, like, the only reason I got these is um, because on one of the days, my brother and my dad decided to come to Briar fest with us just for one of the days um and my dad didn't need a stable mate so he gave me his uh model ticket and i got ruffian because um he looks exactly like a bullet my horse um because bullet even stands in this position it's really funny um and my brother got the same one but then the next day my brother wanted to come again and um then I told my mom the one I, I wanted if I could have another chance and then like 
she told my brother, and then he just got this one. Um, so it's not actually mine, I just put it in here because she stays on my shelves, but it's Ruffian and Silver Charm, and that's all my staple mates. And I'm just going to show you this one, which is Big Lex. Um, I didn't get him at Briarfest, but Big Lex is the um, blue horse of Lexington, Kentucky. Um, he was uh, an actual racehorse. He wasn't blue, though, of course. Um, and then they renamed him Lexington after he won after he won a couple of races, and then like they made they made him blue because of the legend of the blue horse is that he ate too much blue grass and turned blue and then that's so then there's this thing on the bottom where it's like official horse of bluegrass country horse capital of the world lexington kentucky and then if it will focus i can show you that it said it's not going to focus but it that just says um that it's based on the uh, Edward, Edward Troy's 1868 portrait of the famous racehorse Lexington, and then there's the picture it was based on. So there's him, and he's actually retired, so it's really cool that they had him at the visitor center for $15. And then um, I am going to show the traditionals now, which are all set up here. So, yeah. So first I got this guy, um, oh and by the way, I'm not going in order of when I got them, cause like, this guy I got like, third, I don't know, but um, I'm showing you this guy uh, first, but he is a, he um, is on the Appaloosa performance horse and mold, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And he is from the Appaloosa American Classic set, uh, and it and it came with Running Stallion and Stud Spider. But um, I just got him on his own, like this. Um, and the he's actually from 1990, which is really cool. And he's from the Sears Holiday Catalog. And there were 2,000 of his, him made, which is really cool. So next I got Prince Jester, who I am really happy about. Um, and he was in box. And he is on the Missouri Fox Trotter mold. And he is really beautiful. And um, he's from the time period of like 2011 to 2012. And he is really pretty. And before I forget, he was, I'm pretty sure, $35. But then he had a discount. So he was, I think, 22 And same with him. He was, I'm pretty sure, um, 35 But I can't remember if... I think he was 26 so he was a bit more, actually. So there's him. And then I got Aristocat Champion Hackney. And I'm pretty sure that, um, oh, and that's the name of the mold as well. And I'm pretty sure that she is actually the first model on that mold. Um, well, of course there's more. She's not the first only one. And she's not signed. Some of them are signed by the sculptor, I'm pretty sure. And she's and she came with this hang tag with a bit of information and then she is from 1995 and that means that she is 23 years old which is really cool um he is actually older than her but um i just think it's really cool that i found an inbox one because she was in box that is like that old it's really cool for me and um and then there's this one which will only be quick um which is the celebration horse and this is brass hat the 2018 celebration horse pretty he is 
he's nice. Like, he's got really nice shading and everything. But he's not too exciting. And then I have one in box one. And, but he isn't just on my shelf, which is my mom's. Um, but, yeah. So, he's just on there. So, yeah. And he has Rarefest 2018 on his belly. Now, on to special runs. So, first we have Julep and Pim, the Mare and Full set, which I absolutely adore they are really pretty models um both of them have briarfest 2018 on the bottom um pimp has it in gold and she has it in black and they are really pretty if you ever have a chance to get your hands on them definitely would recommend they are beautiful um uh pim is super cute he's got one blue eye and one brown eye and they're just super cute i love them so much now on to the next one so the last briar i got is by nose and he is beautiful he is my first on the lonesome glory mold i love it so much I just can't get over it um his like nose is pink and he's got pink accents uh by his elbow and like just by his elbows and um well that bit <laughs> and then here as well and it's just he's beautiful got Briarfest 2018 on his belly and I would recommend him and, by the way, uh, he was 65, and those two were 65, and this guy was 25, because I just realized I forgot that. Um, so, yeah, beautiful. If you can get your hands on him as well, he, he's beautiful. Would recommend him. And also, with both of them, I forgot how many were made. Um, but you can, I'm pretty sure you can check that out on Briar's website. So, yeah. Beautiful. If you, get, if you can get your hands on him, definitely do it. Beautiful horse. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I wasn't trying to brag at all in this video this was um like these are like i'm just not trying to brag don't think that i am and maybe confused at why i didn't get the store specials old iron sides and nicobod crane it's just like i didn't really feel that drawn to them and they were pretty expensive and I would have got an Ichabod crane but I wanted to save my money for those two because I love them so so much um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one bye